I know it's hard to sift through all of the chaos when learning to trade, but I'm here to help. These days, I'm trading with three big monitors dedicated to trading, and it can honestly be a bit much. One of my ongoing goals is always to simplify my charts and my workstation so it's easier to focus on trades and more portable when I only have access from my little screen. Since ditching my old life for finance, one of my favorite things to do is talk with OG traders and learn more about how they read and execute the market. I'll rush to my charts and add their tools to see how it can work for me, but a lot of the time, I end up seeing how these concepts make perfect sense to the trader I'm talking to, but I personally just don't connect with those charts and can't really translate the ideas into executed trades myself. So they end up becoming forgotten about saved layouts just in the ether. That's until I met my buddy Rob Tovel and he showed me his fire lines, which I'm excited to hear he will be using for day trading in the 2025 Robin's Cup. First, let me tell you why I like Rob. He's no nonsense and not trying to prove himself to anyone. He's more interested in proving to his mentees that they can do this. You see, Rob isn't a fly-by-night social media furu. He's the real deal who has spent 40 years in finance, including time he spent training traders at an old school, in-office, real-life, actual proprietary trading firm where traders would come learn a proprietary trading system under the training and guidance of Rob. Fortunately, Rob's latest venture is bringing his methods to the independent retail trader like you and me in a really easy to use all in one clean indicator. He calls it the fire lines and I want to show you how this single trading view indicator can help you find real tradable trades, whether the market is chopping or trending. I get emails about overpriced, silly tools made by opportunists without a trade history to back them up every day. And that's not what this is. The Fireline started as a well-tuned trading system that Rob has taught for years and uses personally to reliably profit in the markets day after day, trade after trade. And I'm really grateful that he offered to show this to me and let me show it to all of you here. Rob started trading in the 1980s and traded through the 1987 crash. His experience led him to the realization that programs, automated trading systems were going to be the way of the future, and they certainly are. Both large firms and independent home retail traders are using automations. What they and Rob are looking to capitalize on is a mathematical edge. But you don't need to be a math whiz in order to be a great trader. In fact, patience and discipline will get you further in this path than being a math savant, especially when people like Rob have programmed their mathematical edge into an easy to use indicator like the fire lines. You can see that the fire lines do a good job of showing areas in the market where price can react. So let's go over what these levels are. First, this blue line is the inflection point, which is basically a line in the sand. It's considered a weak level, and in general, if price is above it, it's bullish, and below it is bearish. If price is above the inflection point, but within the yellow value area, defined by the upper value level and lower value level, this price is considered to be weak bullish or weak bearish. In essence, this is a range that we can expect price to remain in if we don't break out into a trend. I'll cover how to trade these ideas with the Fireline system in just a bit, but I bet you're beginning to kind of see some already. This purple moving average is the dynamic value level, and it's considered extremely strong. If there's a space between the dynamic value level and a Fireline, this is a danger zone. In the Fireline system, this is the abattoir, which is a fancy way of saying the slaughterhouse. This area is ripe for consolidation and not ideal for initiating a trade. If you've traded with me before, I have some similar areas that I call sandwiches that I do not like to trade in for the same reason. Price is erratic and unpredictable here. So if this yellow area between the value levels is a range, then when price moves out of this area, it will be in a trend. 
The target price levels outside of this area are price levels that have a mathematical probability that price is likely to reach these levels as long as the trend continues. There are trades to look for at these levels, but often these are targets for trades that we've already entered. So let's talk about placing trades with the Fireline system. I'm showing you an ES chart because the S&P 500 futures are my personal bread and butter, but the Fireline should work on any liquid market that you know how to trade. We need to have enough range for our risk to reward, which will be account and trader specific to an extent. But of course, before placing a trade, you should always make sure that there's some meat on the bone. I'd like to cover each setup in more detail in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to the Firelines playlist so we can cover more nuances and examples, but here are the basic rules and setups for the Firelines system. The general rules are, we do not enter trades in the abattoir or slaughterhouse, obviously. We do not trade towards the dynamic Fireline moving average, and we do not enter a trade between Firelines. Now, the first setup is the straddle. For the straddle setup, we're watching for price consolidating around a fire line. Draw a box around the high and the low of the consolidation area and take the trade on the breakout with a stop loss on the opposite side of the box. There should be enough meat on the bone that the distance to the next target has some positive risk to reward. These setups are great for entering a trade, but also great for managing and moving stops on an existing trade as well. Next is the BHG, which stands for Break, Hold, and Go, named for Rob's experience in dealing with bull and bear traps, which I know we all want to learn to trade well. What we're watching for is first a break of a fire line, then a hold as price retests the level. We mark the swing high or low of the break before the holds, and that is now our trade entry level, or the go. We trade to the next target and place our stops at the hold level. The third setup is higher risk, and novice traders may not love it as much, although I've been having some great results when pairing this with other things I'm watching, like the ES's correlation with the VIX, the tick index, and other market internals. This entry is the first touch. It's as simple as placing a limit order at a fire line that has not yet been touched to play a reversal. We can target a fire line, including a dynamic fire line, but the stop loss is more discretionary. And personally, I've been basing it on the risk to reward to the next target or on the strength of the level from my own analysis of higher time frame charts. With all three setups, we're simply looking for a setup at a line, making sure it doesn't break any rules and taking simple line-to-line -line trades. I like this system because it's simple enough for new traders and also appealing to more advanced traders who may be great at analysis and appreciate a simple system to manage their actual trades. If you're wondering where you can get Firelines, I have a link for you here to bullbarbie.link slash Firelines, and we'll have this linked on my website as well. Rob wanted to make sure that this was fairly priced and affordable to new traders. And what he settled on after asking for feedback is less than I've been able to make in one to two trades using five to 10 MES micros at a time. Look for more videos detailing the trade setups here and even more exciting, we'll get to watch Rob in the Robin's Cup in 2025 where he'll be trading the Fireline system in the day trading category. I'm looking forward to trading this system with you and Rob, so let me know what your first impressions of the Fireline system are, and have a profitable day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.